I forgot to turn sound back on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I forgot to turn the sound back on. I've just been sitting here talking to you. I... <laughs> my bad. So, like I was trying to say before I... I before I, uh, realized that I didn't have audio, uh, I did try to turn down my CPU usage a bit. And I did, I did bring it down a bit. Not, you know, a whole lot, but I did... It does look lower now, so that's good. Um, everyone can hear me, see me, you know, hear whatever. Let me put my hair back up. It's... So hopefully, hopefully we won't be dropping quite as much. And if we are, I'll try adjusting the quality of things a little bit. And see if that changes things. Because she doesn't like roses. <laughs> I sure miss my dad. That's a weird thing to say. I don't get this play! What a strange play. I'm sure they've worked very hard on it. How come we don't have the accent right now? Golden butter popcorn! Looks good. Let's go try to crack open some more grave. I mean, some more, uh... I'm gonna open these at every intermission. Or try, anyway. There's kind of, like, whispering in the background in this area. It almost feels like it might be actual dialogue, you know? But I don't know if you'd be able to really decipher it. I mean, like an actual language. But I don't know if you'd be able to tell. Kind of crowbar. Nope. Should have known. You really should have. Can I get a discount on the popcorn since the movie's already started? Maybe we could find some pennies in the seat. Red felt seats. They look so comfortable. I can't go up there. Ah, here we are. Look at all these weirdos. A large nightstand. Oh, this one's wearing the dress. Tell me that I'm beautiful! Yes, you look great. I know, I don't need you to tell me that. I want some popcorn now, but I can't till the play is over. I wish I could have some now, though. Oh no, I lost it! Benjamin is gonna be mad! Oh. I know, let me. I ha I changed where I was reading the chat from, so now I have to read. So I might be a bit more delayed in my readings. 
Oh, rehearsing has made me real hungry. Do you have anything I could eat? I got the egg. You know, it kind of looks like it's like the baby, the, the one on top is wearing horns too. Have you seen our brother? We sent him to collect eggs, but he never came back. And that was a long time ago. What's that? You have an egg? You wouldn't mind if we took it, would you? What a meanie. The toy maker doesn't talk anymore. Ever since his favorite toy left. Be careful. Or else he might turn you into a toy. The toy maker? Well, the one the one that didn't talk to us who gave us the egg wasn't the room behind where the where the uh nutcracker was. <laughs> Take the drive, don't complain. Weren't you hungry? Just eat it! Just eat the egg! Just just freaking put it in your mouth! <laughs> it's still warm from the inside of a bird. Uh, this game. Alright, hang on, let me go save, because we can give it to both of them, and I'm curious what happens if we give it to each. Still doesn't like me. That's rude, Spring. That one was spring, right? The light brown. No thanks, I only eat sweets. I knew he wouldn't fail us! Gave egg. We're going to bake a cake! You can come by later if you want some. Hell yeah, I want some cake! Shit, yeah! Can you buy me some popcorn, please? I don't have enough pennies, or I would. Even further backstage. Oh dear. What's up, man? Yee! Wooden blocks, they spell cat. Wooden blocks, they spell bad. That's not suspicious or anything. That's fine, everything is fine. Hey, doesn't this kind of look like the house? We just kind of, you know, just look the house? Hmm, hmm, this is normal. Don't eat sweets before a performance. You'll produce too much saliva. A musical monkey. Why does it look so frightened? We can't talk with this one. A dollhouse. Where have I seen this before? That isn't Benjamin, I don't think. This is- I believe this is the toy maker, maybe? Cause they say he doesn't talk anymore after his favorite toy left. <laughs> Bat cad. Mm. 
What am I supposed to be doing now? I don't have enough pennies. I ain't moving enough corn. I haven't seen my brother in years, man. Oh no, your brother. Maybe that's why that monkey looks so frightened. I wasn't going to say anything, but... The toy maker's not giving him up cheap. So that is your brother. Sorry about your everything. A vanity mirror for vain people. Maybe if we talk to the Nutcracker? Unless this game expects me to check every seat for pennies. Which, I mean, I can do! I have no problem. I, I you know, I, looking through every single item in a game is, is one of my specialties. But... The Sphinx looks sad. I wonder if it's because she doesn't like roses. What if the Sphinx represents someone? What if there was a mistress? So you miss your dad. Your dad misses you too, buddy! I'm sure if you came back, your dad would be awfully glad. By the way, do things seem to be going better... ...lag-wise? I will look through every freaking one of these seats. So help me. You must find the best seat. Walk through the entire theater. Sit in every chair to know all of your options. Shit, I asked that and then my CPU was up to 100. What did I do? Why did I jack it up? Why did I jinx it? I mean, if anyone else has any other options about, or suggestions about what we do, I'm glad to hear it. This is a puzzle game, after all. And you've already helped me out of a jam at least once or twice so far, so... I believe in you. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep checking every single one of these chairs. 
because why not? And like you would think that you would need to bring the toy maker and the the nutcracker back together. More you know about you know about this exactly as much as I do at this point. I mean, you, this this part of the game is completely separated from all the other parts we've played so far. So there's really no. Like, I don't think there's really any context that would make this make more sense. It does sound like the mini cursor from Pokemon. The walk sound reminds me of Pokemon a bit too. I mean, the, the leaving of room sound reminds me of Pokemon too. Like going through a door. But I can't really interact with him. Just make him stop moving. It does kind of have that, I mean, it has a typewriter effect like the Don't Starve. It has a sort of flittering sound. Like some cats has probably never killed anyone. Probably. There's nothing this way. Oh, is there more over this? There's a more stage to investigate. Oh well, pff, I guess not. Okay. Why even give me that if you're not gonna let me look check it out? Rude, frankly. you want from the game. And we've got a key, but what are we supposed to use it for? Oh, it's for the ticket booth, you say? So how do we get in the ticket booth? Oh! That is a lock on there! The lock opened, but the key broke. A giant swan sculpture carved from ice. A grandfather clock, but it is moving. There seems to be a gear missing. Oh, hey! Whoa! Oh, he's not shaking this time, so it's whoa! This clock doesn't work anymore. Whoa! 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 It's been frozen for 15 years. All right, so the play that we're watching right now was set 20 years ago when Cat was five. This clock has been frozen for 15 years. 
hat. Do you remember yet? No. Here, let's try again. What just happened? Hey, wait! Does this mean we have two pennies now? Yes! So I guess that means that we're gonna have to go through this cycle once more before we have enough to buy popcorn. No, these names are the same. I guess at the end, this side. Is that what all this running around is for? Buying sessions? I'm creating a time loop just so I can get some popcorn. To cheat the system and get enough money to buy popcorn. What happens if I go in here without doing the rest? Does it matter? Can I just hold on to the rows? Buy popcorn so that he can buy his brother back so the toy maker gets mad so weird shit happens. Basically. <laughs> Cat, do you remember yet? No. Here, let's try again. Why are you subjecting me to this? Why do we have a movie theater and why is all of this in our attic? I... Oops, wrong one. So I guess ultimately we're going to need to get a gear. To make the grandf grandfather clock move. That's probably our end goal. We got enough pennies! Let's buy some freaking popcorn! Yeah, boy, yeah! Alright, we gotta give a rose. Oh, wait! Popcorn. Whoop! Golden buttered popcorn!
figure out what traumatic thing happened when we were 10. Probably us killing some folks. Well, Cat in the Hat did, you know, straight up say, I killed them. So, you know, there's that. Is that, do you look radically different now because you changed your appearance so that people wouldn't, you know, recognize you as, oh yeah, that one who killed. Right. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go off script. I'm gonna go off script. Man, I hope we get a, I hope we get a cake still. We lost our egg. Hang on, let me see if I can set one up. No, thank you. Okay. Hello, mother. Hello, cat. It is I, Benjamin. Oh. Hello, Benjamin. He always wanted me to call him Benjamin. I have brought you a present! Is this because we said no to the store, or because we've gotten farther? Would you like to see it? Yes? No? Um, yes. Here. A scarf! Oh no! If you wear it, you'll always be warm and safe.
Just like when you're with your dear old Benjamin. We're gonna now break for a short intermission. I wonder what happens if we say no. Shoot, I should have gone through the time loop again and said no. Wait, what did she look up, Kelly? We've got double scarfs now, but not really. Infinite scarf. Ouroboros scarf. Scarforoboros. I'm gonna bury that in the chat so I don't forget it. I'm gonna know it forever. Wait, that doesn't look like the word anymore. No, I can't. I can't. I, I can't type that and make it look wet. Good. There's a thing to be wary of. Did you make a cake yet? Well... Oh, I feel hurt. I want some popcorn now, but I can't till the play is over. Sure, man, have some popcorn. Do it. Yay, popcorn! Oh, um, take this as thanks. Got wood block. Oh, uh, okay. Excuse me. Eee! Eee! Give wood block. Eee! Got toy soldier. The play is about to begin. Please make your way to your seat. You! Where have you been? Sorry? You actors have some nerve! Don't you know that everyone's been looking for you? What are you doing just standing there? You're on in five minutes! To the stage! Chop chop! This is Cat. Cat! Are you excited about having little brothers? 
cartoon cat! Are you excited about having little brothers? Well, obviously we know how this goes, but what happens if we say... Bead cat! Cat blade instead of bay blade. Let her rip. What do you want to answer with? I mean, obviously we can keep- we can loop this all night if we want! Can't just hang up this face. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Of course you are. It's only natural. Please go and tell everyone. Oh, this is the parents' bedroom. Oh no. Please go and tell everyone. Tell everyone how you feel about having about having about having uh little brothers and sisters. Cat busts down the door and murders them. The twins are coming. It might be difficult to stay. Everything will be better when we move. Mother, the city is wonderful. It's always summer there. Say goodbye to the seasons. Where have we heard that before? Benjamin, what about the house? The house? This house is just a memory. Benjamin? I don't want to leave. I like the seasons. I don't want to leave them behind. But mother. It's strange that you're saying calling her mother and not by her name. Unless she's your mom too. The twins are coming. Why are you so selfish? Why are you always so selfish? What does family mean to you? Benjamin! Was that the door? Cat! Where is Cat? All of this fighting between Mommy and Benny makes Cat very sad. And so, Cat decides to run away! What happens now? I don't know! We lost the rest of the script. Um, the end! Hey, the, it's open. Oh, I thought it was open. Never mind, it's still closed off. Lame! Maybe there's a cake backstage for us now. <laughs> what, what a well in, what a well put together place. <laughs> Just when it should. Didn't overstay its welcome at all. Nobody here.
So there's only one place we haven't checked, and that was the room full of, uh, full of coffins. So, uh, we can't find anyone anywhere else, so I wonder if they're all in the coffins! Wait, did anyone count how many people there have been? How many people have been in the play? Because I swear, if there are the exact number of people in the play, that there are coffins here. Did I- did I break the game? Yeah, there's there's one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six other ones, right? So what am I supposed to do now? Did I break something? Oh, I can get in here now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. We got the wrong path. Aren't there two narrator babies? So I guess we gotta do this again. And then there's the one dressed as- as Cat. Cat in a hat. There's at least six because of Cat in the Hat, baby. What am I gonna do with all these roses? All these roses and swans. Oh yes, I was talking about backstage too. I was curious if one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six babies and then mommy and daddy, presumably. Or mommy and Benjamin. That's if we assume roses. Benjamin. I mean it roses. Mommy! What was I doing? You gotta go through the loop a few more times. No, stop! She is still- she still remains incredibly chill about all of this. So it does look like the number of coffins would correspond to the number of whatevers. Mm. 
Oh, hang on. I was curious if we, if, if, I was curious if Happy Mask Sales Dad was wearing a, uh, was wearing a no mask too. And what it corresponded to if he was. I can't identify it at a glance anyway. Of course, I can't confirm that the one that the, that the, uh, caterpillar was wearing was one either but it certainly looked like one to me but yes more I would suggest checking it since you didn't get to make it there but I would suggest checking out the first stream We actually played the demo before we played the full version of this one. What if the whole... the whole... Because he said this house is just a memory. What if... What if by entering this house, we've actually just entered into our memories? What if this whole thing is in our head? And by being in the attic here, the attic, we're the closest to the center. The cause of it all. This is here, the brain. Don't got enough pennies. Need more pennies. Keep time to be required. Three popcorns. Three popcorns. My God. God, what if we can't? What if we can just keep buying popcorn? What if we just time loop and time loop and time loop and infinite popcorn? I still wonder about our egg, though. I do hope we didn't kind of botch that up somehow. Surely, surely the, the egg will just make it through to the final time loop. It will transcend. Did I even get the penny out this time? Hmm, why am I so sleepy? Just buy all the entire machine. Just, I'm gonna take this whole thing. Just give me the whole thing. Just wheel it backstage. <laughs> I'm rich! I'm coming for you, brother! Oh! The monkey isn't selling popcorn anymore. Are you telling me I went to the time loop of getting three pennies for nothing? I didn't even need the pennies? Well, now I'm three pennies richer. I guess. soon too.
knock over the popcorn cart. I wonder what happens if you say you don't want to see the gift. I mean, obviously, it'll lead to a dead end, but I wonder what dialogue we get. Um, no thank you. Bye! Goodbye. Mother, let's prepare Cat's room for the twins, Riley and Logan. Riley and Logan. Those were two of the names we found uh, coffins for. Benjamin, surely you must mean Sydney and Kendall? Aha, more potential names here. Riley and Logan. They are coming soon. Yes, however, when Sydney and Kendall arrive, there may not be room for Cat. Right you are. She's right there! Why are you discussing that with, in those terms right in front of the child? It's messed up. Alright, let's see, what do we do to get the third, the second act to start? I mean, last time we got the wood block, but I don't know what we're gonna do this time. Yeah, see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven babies here. I don't get how I'm supposed to get through the loop if I can't get the popcorn. Yeah, bro, it carry. Surely not, though. Right? I mean, surely.
Lord, we can't we can't get the key because we didn't actually. Oh, I don't have him with me that now. That's right. Maybe if I have one, I can give it to him. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. She's five. She won't remember anything. She certainly won't remember any of this when she's older. Oh, wait, what? I can't go inside of something. Benjamin won't let anyone in ever since the cat ran away. Wait, what did you just say? Maybe he said I can't get in the ticket booth? Or something like that. Sorry, I, I, I zoomed past that so fast. The cat ran away. It did say that cat ran away. I mean, she did tell us that she ran away in the beginning, and the script, the play here says that cat ran away when mommy and daddy were, I mean, mommy, mommy and Benjamin were fighting. I'm gonna keep getting pennies. I'm gonna take all these pennies. Infinite pennies. I'm gonna get so many pennies I have a dollar. I'm gonna get a hundred pennies. Some of these things continue through the loops. Give toy soldier? Oh! Oh ho! You're boring! He is much better behaved now. Thank you. Here, maybe he won't need this anymore. Got script. Ah! The little one found that on the floor. Maybe you will find it useful. Well, well, well. The script label act three. So I wonder if we see different scripts, I mean, depending on how we, how we proceed, you know, how we answer in Act 2, I wonder what we see for Act 3. You know, as a put where the one where we answer, yes, we're excited for them, and then, uh, the one where we answer no, but we're not. You dig? After this loop, I might have to go to bed. Hopefully he has some notes to improve it. Because obviously before we got to the... Everyone takes out swords. Yes! It's like, in the first one, 
the first time we got through, you know, where they were talking about the next act, um, was after we gave the block of wood. I don't remember what happened. Oh, it's all a blur. Do we want to see it? Yes! Yes, give it to me. Yes, but I thought it, it breaks after this one. It, I mean, they break after you agree to the scarf. If you don't want to agree to the scarf, then it continues on. Can we do anything more in this one? In this loop? Or have we done all we can do in this set? I mean, do we have to go with the negative options? I think we might have, but I just wanted to be sure. Might have to, I mean. Do you think that all the faces are tied to the same person? The red one and uh, the one in the back of the ticket office, and then the toy maker. I don't know. I better call it an evening though. I'm losing my brain since. Also. I will see you fine folks on Thursday when we will continue this game. I don't know how long this game is really. Um, I plan to start Boogeyman too, but I, 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 I don't know. This one's fine because I get to voice everything. Boogeyman is actually fully voiced, so I won't be able to read things. But it'll be interesting hearing how people sound. I miss you too, Mori! I hope you all have wonderful evenings. And I will see you on Thursday, okay? Have a fantastic week! I mean it. I hope that all of all of the cakes you get from Strange Babies will become cakes. And that, um... That all of the coffins you find will contain pennies. Or whatever it is they contain whenever we open them in Earthbound. We got some loot out of those, too. Anyway, what I'm getting at is that I hope that all of the coffins you open have good things inside of them. With that, good night.